What's going on, Workforce? Brian here. Chris here. And today we're talking Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. Game has been launched a couple weeks out. Uh, Chris has been playing it on Thursday, so if after you watch this video you want to go see his reaction as he uh, continues to dive into Fantasy Star uh, and or uh, classic like Thursday kind of as like a little rotating game day along with some reactions. So he might be still be reacting to a couple of videos today that you might enjoy his live reaction to. But... Uh, Looking forward to that one from Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> um, we want to sit down and talk about uh, Fantasy Star Online 2, where it is. I actually saw a lot of people asking me, like, hey, Brian, are you still playing a new Genesis? I haven't seen you post about it. Well, A, I went on vacation. B, I'm around level 11. C, I've just been swamped. I haven't actually, it's not that I'm not playing new Genesis. I'm really not playing anything uh, these last couple of weeks. I've been crushing Peggle with Julie. We went on vacation. We took the Xbox and, uh, and we basically just spent the, the time when we were relaxing in the evenings playing Peggle, which was Go a lot of fun. the Peggle Invitational. <laughs> the Peggle Invitational. We're going to crush pro it. Pro Peggle. Um, anyway, so as far as it goes, yeah. Like, I, I have been chipping away uh, and just working through the story, leveling up, learning as much as I can. And I just haven't had time to, to sit down and make a video post about it. So I'm glad I can sit down today with Chris, who I would describe uh, lovingly if, I, if Zach was in here with us today. It's like... Chris kind of groans his way through a new experience. It doesn't matter at what, this is just how I view it. Like good or bad. It's, uh, it, it's, it's just funny for me to watch, but for some other players who might not know you, they could feel like yes. maybe you're a little yes. too negative Zach is, on a game. Zach is a, a friend from college. That is the wow version of Brian in yeah. my life. The literal wow version of me, the literal wow, wow version. Yeah. And so the things that I, the mannerisms I have in both games like squ skipping the quest text and then being frustrated. I don't know where to go. Yeah. That's something I do in all games. And so they compare stories about time and 14 and time and wow. Cause I've jumped back and forth. Um, I wanted to talk about PSO two with new with you yeah. because I wanted to put out a video on this and I didn't feel I could do it on gaming kind of because videos live out there forever. We don't really delete posts and I didn't feel like I could record one and leave it out there and it'd be a fair take even as an initial impression because I'm not, having a good time yeah and i i want to wait until i make a video that is solely my opinion um until i've at least completed the experience i'm like level five or six max level is 20 i want to at least get that far and then if i don't like it at that point like that is what it is yeah if you don't but, like it but, at level 20 when they increase level five or six, cap what if it gets better and now there's some video out there that somebody gets like types in PSO2 and then that's the one video that they, they use to inform their opinion and then method. they don't play this game. And so I don't want to do that until I have given it more of a shot. Yeah. Um, but PSO2 New Genesis is first of all, doing something interesting for Final Fantasy fans that don't, haven't been following the franchise. PSO2 has been around a long time and much like Final Fantasy got to the point where their combat system, their code, all of that was restricting what they wanted to make their game moving forward. That's something that Final Fantasy fans can relate to when we talk about systems like housing, server structure, class structure, the the way chocobos and, and the way squadrons work, why trusts are not backwards compatible, the way yeah. our market board works. There's a number of features that we wish they worked differently and the devs go, yeah, us too. And like, and, and that's the end of that conversation. PSO2 New Genesis said, well, what if we relaunched a new game like Guild Wars 2 and like Destiny 2, where we started with a new code base based around what we know now instead of what we knew then, but instead of deleting your progress like those games, we carried you over much in the way that you talk about things like world visit and data center visit, where your character would exist over here and then you would be able to move into this new combat system. That does mean if the new combat system has a warrior and the old combat system has a warrior, those are separate experience pools. They're separate inventories, but your cosmetics go back and forth. You can chat with players across and it allows you to bridge those. Mm -hmm. So from my perspective, I'm stating all this and I'm gonna let you correct what I've apparently misunderstood is that they were inviting in a Western audience to join them in yeah. an already established Eastern audience um, by partnering with micro. I mean, Microsoft had a huge hand in this and they were going to make this game available on controller and keyboard and mouse. And it was going to be this, this PC based thing that gave them a chance to start from the ground up to work wonderfully from day one with all the knowledge and the basis, but then still keeping the fans and the characters from legacy. Mm hmm what have I gotten wrong? Uh, not much in that regards. I think maybe the expectation maybe is a little bit off. Uh, I've heard that you are right now currently sticking with keyboard and mouse and a little frustrated with it. And you would mm -hmm. be as livid on 14's 1.0 side. Uh, same thing with 11. It's like that, you know, their 14 adapted uh, a WoW model, making it easier for people to kind of do that translation. Uh, and so one of the things I was going to say to you is that I've, I've heard you say, no, you want to play keyboard and mouse. That's fine. 
controller play for this game works phenomenal, you know, and it is a PC game. Yeah, maybe it should have uh, spent some time kind of adapting uh, to that the different mindset. But this is a new starting point. This isn't a finished line. And that, to be an example of that is the level cap is increasing to 35 this, this year. They're introducing two new classes this year uh, and then have a, a year plan of rolling out even more content zones, etc. So it's that, like, the quite, I look at it and say, is it a perfect game as it exists right now? No. Could it continue to be? Is this a better spot? Just like when in development... Uh, like Windows 10 is an example. Uh, there's been actually some times where like even within YouTube Studio, like when you first went to YouTube Studio like two years ago, it was drastically lacking in features, but that's where they're putting their time, money, and investment. So over the course of X, Y, and Z amount of time, like it does get the opportunity to improve and become that experience that you want. And not you don't get, unfortunately, due to the model and, and time, and you could even look at COVID, like maybe that is a part of their backlog. When you, Even Yoshi P has a giant backlog of things that they want to do with the game. And maybe it's just a little lower on the priority level. And being that it's a games as a service with a like no entry fee, like if you're not having fun today, like the game's going to exist in a year. The game's going to exist in two years and five years and 10 years. Like it's already got that tr proven track record of trust that in my mind, it's like, okay, if you're not having fun, like listen to that aspect, but note that that shouldn't necessarily always be the, the one take. If you're a one take kind of gamer, which you are not, uh, you know, but for those people who are looking for that initial take, like, and they'll decide from there and whether they'll never play a game again or something like that. I don't necessarily follow that mindset. But I can, I, we do hear from them, you know, a bad launch for them means they'll never play that game and we'll hear it. Like, isn't this the game that had that bad launch five years ago? <laughs> you know, yeah, there's, like, I mean, there's a lot of good games out there. So like, I don't right. fault that mindset that like, why would I go back to a game that screwed me once when there's this other game that came out that I'm interested in that hasn't screwed me yet? Right. A hundred percent. And that's, these games don't compete in a bubble. But from my perspective, the experience has been overwhelmingly positive. I do wish... They had drop in, drop out multiplayer for a friends list. Like it is a little bit difficult. So there's things that I would sit down and say like, yeah, I hope that they focus in on improving some of these aspects down the line. And that will be something I'll be looking forward to seeing. But for me, like as a consummate fan, the nostalgia, the combat is fun. I'm enjoying the fact that the game's actually pulling me into a story where PSO2 base was just kind of like, hey, we have a story. You can go watch cutscene simulator over here if you want to. And I'm just like, I'm sure there's an anime on this. I'm sure someone's got a YouTube video on this. I'll marathon that uh, at some point here in the future. But I feel like immediately drawn into the game and it's been definitely worth my time. The only thing that I'm frustrated about- got a was, lot of voice acting. Yeah. The it's only not thing, all good, but it's a lot. I don't need it to be good. Like, I, like I, I don't know. Like, I'm not sitting here just like, I'm not expecting, I guess it's all in terms of expectation. Like, I'm just expecting it to be- you know, okay, and I'm right now. It's it's over delivering on on, on what it yeah. promised me, and I, the only thing I, I I'm frustrated by at the game is I just haven't had time to play it, and that's just where like when I look at my schedule right now, that's just where I'm at in life today. I've just got a lot of projects with deadlines that we're I'm just kind of pushing myself towards, and once I cross over these deadlines, yeah, maybe I'll take a day off work and I'll just stream Fantasy Star with you, you know, or something special where we can just kind of say. Hey, it's July. Let's stream some Fantasy Star together. And I think essentially when you're when you're not playing these games as a solo kind of game, ultimately ends up being a uh, I think a, a much better experience because then it's about like let's kill some stuff, farm up some gear, and let's get more powerful and, and let's try some of the other content the game has to offer. So, I I think that what's on the other side is really interesting. There's these different loot systems and I'm yeah. like grinding loot into bigger loot. And then like people are like, hey, you got to limit break your sword. And I was like, that sounds like a made up thing. And they're like, no, it's not. And so like there's systems within systems. And that's always something that I like diving into within games. Um, there's different class variety. The, the combat is really visually intense. Um, there's really cool looking monsters. There's a ton of cosmetic options. Uh, stream, de uh, stream decided and voted on my character at each <laughs> stage and gave me like an Alvin the Chipmunk voice. And I'm this pink skinned robot girl named Strawberry. And, uh, and, and it's been delightful in many ways. So I think the game that's on the other side there is something that I understand why people like it. On this side, I feel like they partnered with Microsoft and they've, they've done a lot of this where like, it seems like they've, put themselves in a position to cater to a Western audience without alienating their previous audience. Yeah. People who like JRPGs anywhere in the world, 
versus people like me that come from more of a WoW background where, you know, WASD is standard and, you know, there's these standard control schemes and there's this standard way that loot is deposited, that there's all these things where we're used to seeing like, oh, an exclamation park means a quest. And there's all these things that are just kind of the typical and it doesn't really matter where they started it's that all new games moving forward one of the things that i really struggle with guild wars is that it's not gray to white to green to blue to purple uh -huh. the green and the blue are switched and it drives me nuts on rarity it's like no let's just let's just all agree that blue is more rare than green and then move on so that when i see something i know what that means yeah. uh, even if we have to find all new colors let's agree on a set of colors and they go in order we all know purple is epic, and then yeah. anything above purple, that's your your pinks and your oranges and yellows. Here's Golds. here's where I could see so, this being slightly frustrating from your perspective, and let me know if I'm out in left field. Yeah. But um, the mindset of the, the WoW player, right, is absolutely right. So Fantasy Star, in your world experience, is a unique blend of games. It's kind of what is the father of Destiny. Destiny drew a lot of inspiration from Fantasy Star. Turns out, Destiny also drew a lot of uh, inspiration from world of warcraft and so if you were going to sit here and say hey brian here's two games destiny is immediately more accessible to you because it understands the language of wow and it also understands the language of fantasy star fantasy star i don't know if they're trying to capture that wow market i don't think they're marketing themselves as that but you are a unique pivotal player in that regards being that you're coming from that game not really having a history with Fantasy Star being right. drawn in by that connection. So the bridge I would take you through would be the bridge of Destiny, but you'll probably end up just saying like, man, I wish they would do it a little bit like Destiny here in that regards. And that's where I, even I get tripped up with wanting yep. that drop in, drop out multiplayer. Destiny makes that so simple and easy and approachable where in PSO2, like when I play a strictly Japanese based developed game, even though they're building it for a global audience now, there are some clear differences in terms of like matchmaking, party forming, and more that it just feels like there's a couple extra steps that don't need to exist. And and that's a cultural thing. That's where I kind of right. chalk that up and say, you know what? I'm enjoying 15 comrades. I enjoyed the combat of that. And then it was everything else that just kind of drives you out of that game. and just slowly chips away at your willingness to spend time with it. And that's what I think Fantasy Star needs to, to do. But I think this is the starting point, right? Like, it's if if it's it, it's hard because, in a way, if the game's been out for eight plus years, right? But, yes. in a way, like, the things that they have changed from base game to this game are substantial improvements. But I do agree with you. Like, there is a, there is still a gap to kind of get it to make it more natural. And the question is, is that, did they need that all in day one? Or is that something that like, if in a year's time when you got a level 20 and I say, Hey Chris, guess what? They've added this, done this, done this. You've already in. got a 20. Come join right. me for a couple weeks and you can keep kind of just dipping your toe in. And if you don't ever get hooked, that's a whole other, that's a different video. Like, yeah, okay, just, you know, whatever, but right. Not all games have to be for all people. And right. so that's okay. Like I, I, people are having a good time and I'm not, that doesn't bother me. Um, where I struggle is that it felt like they marketed to me and the value proposition of New Game Plus got me really excited of what it meant for the industry. Mm -hmm. Not for Fantasy Star 2 Online. Right. As, as a precedent, as a study in, we now have the technology on the server and client side to preserve a game while moving into a new engine got me really excited. Yeah. As a longtime WoW and 14 player, these games sometimes feel like they could do with a fresh slate. Yeah. It sometimes feels like they're, man, just imagine if they weren't held out, held back by technical debt within the code base. Like imagine if they could start fresh with everything they knew now, all the talent they built on their teams, all the, all the lessons they've learned along the way. Imagine how much better it could be. It's easy to romanticize that that would somehow magically fix everything. And it turns out, in our one example of this, it doesn't. It still has, it just has a new set of issues. Yeah. And all of my issues exist between me as a player and them, the game, right here in between. First of all, I get a ton of frame stutter. Mm -hmm. I have an RTX 3080. I have a brand new computer from November. I have, I have a Ryzen CPU. I, it, I'm, I'm all decked out. And I'm getting massive frame stutter. Yeah. And and I'm not alone in that. It, no. When I go out and look for it, it's not like, what are you talking about? People no, I am seeing regular yeah. regular people who who And I didn't I didn't experience say, that. I'm running a thirty seventy. I'm running yeah. a thirty ninety. I I played it on a Series X and it seems to run really well on the console. I played it on my thirty eighty and yeah, I, I get that stutter. And it's annoying. It seems less so because they put out a couple patches and I haven't tested it yet today. 
but a hundred percent agreed that it's like, what the hell? Like, uh, and I didn't experience that in the beta. So it's like, okay, you know, like game development is that. And that's where it's like, I, did they need to put it out on the ninth? Like, that is the question that I ended up asking myself. Like, okay, server login issues, people are slamming the servers. That's understandable. But, you know, did it have, like, y'all set the date, right? Y'all could have put it on the 23rd. You said June. You, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, we're ready. Um, you know, so just kind of like, I, I did kind of wonder if that was essentially how uh, that came about. Because I'll have to test it on PC and I'll let you know if that stutter goes away for me. But it, okay. it, it's enough that it's like, uh like, let's go. And then when it's running smoothly, it's gorgeous. It's fun. And I love it. And then whenever you hit those, look, like, it feels like you hit a little wall and it's like, eh, da, 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 da. okay, now we're going. The controller thing I can get all, I can get over. Um, I am more adaptable in that way than, than you are. You, you will drop a game that doesn't have controller support like any day of the week. Uh, it, it cannot be keyboard mouse. Um, so I... I can do that. I play Destiny with controller. I've played 14 with controller. Uh, that's where I started as a PS3 player with controller. Yeah. Um, I spend every Wednesday night, I play Xbox games with my brothers and some friends every single Wednesday. We, we've been playing Rocket League lately. I play Halo with controller. I play Call of Duty with controller. I can do that. Um, it's really hard for me to want to do that while streaming because streaming has all these other things going on. And so it's really nice to have when I have multiple monitors to just pop my mouse up in a windowed borderless monitor up to the next month and manage something with chat, manage something with stream avatars or go grab a link or anything like that. Like it's, it's just really nice for what I do as my job. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that kind of in the same way that you don't like being on a keyboard and mouse when you're gaming because your job is at a keyboard and mouse. I actually do like this while I'm streaming because the gaming is happening as my work yeah and so it it's that's something that i like destiny and one of the reasons i don't stream destiny is because i don't like putting the controller down to to interact with chat to to type a bot command in or anything like that um it feels weird it, it fractures the experience in a way that i can play wow and 14 and manage chat at the same time and i can do it all without moving my hands you know you They're can play right destiny there. with a controller i mean with the keyboard and mouse right I understand. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. I, I, I've never, I've yeah. never liked shooters that way. And so that's one yeah, of the reasons I like, I, I'm I like anti crossplay in competitive shooters is because like, I prefer to play them on a console in an environment where there aren't keyboard and mouse players because they tend to be real, real good. Uh, it does tend to be the better way. Uh, I just, yeah. haven't I, I, tell you, I, I do, I do fine. I crush people who play on keyboard and mouse as a controller player, you know, like it doesn't bother me. Uh, it's just where I'm comfortable. Like I, if I Great. picked up the keyboard mouse and be like, oh, this is just not right. But uh, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that you need to play uh, PSO2 with a controller. But it, like, I think if terms of like, if you're forming your, uh, your thoughts, your rounded thoughts on it, like you should at least test it out and see. Cause even if you're not streaming it, like if you're just like, okay, I picked it up on controller. Wow. Like, okay, here's what they need to do. Controller, like one or two changes, maybe like from your perspective, but then, obviously i think you easily have the lion's share of like it'd be great if they updated the interface so that it was working well with keyboard and mouse like i don't think anybody is there it, not a master volume knob by the way just speaking of interface i i, I use the on windows i use windows so it's just like windows mixer okay but that's like saying that like 14 doesn't have good community building and you're like but i use discord it's like, okay <laughs> yeah, but that's i hear you like okay yeah. but it's it's a new I'm engine there, there's, like, a, there's a solution master volume's not yeah. a new idea yeah it's not uh it's great <laughs> like fair feed uh, uh critique of feedback there is a workaround it's you know that it doesn't require an okay. add-on like you're you know all right yeah okay mixer lower down i same thing with final fantasy 11 like when i'm playing final fantasy 11 it's like okay like i don't have all these controls let me just use let me w let windows handle that for me so i can go from that and go from there um uh, i'm glad people are liking the game I, I, I appreciate yeah. you being here because I know you like it. And I didn't yeah. want to put out video words for me, just me back. Cause that's not how I feel. I'm level five or six. It is way too soon to come out and just be like, forget this game. Never play it. Like that is yeah. not fair. Yeah. That is not fair. I, I think it's just kind of funny. Cause it's just when I, when I've been watching your streams, when I was on vacation, I was watching you play some fantasy star and it's like, eh, it's, it's how I define Chris's initial experience with any new game. Same thing with guild wars. You're like, I absolutely love this game inviting people to it. But you're just like groaning about the monitor situation. It just like it is you. Yeah. Like I don't, yeah. I don't fault you for it. That's why it's like yeah, no, it's my probably... actions speak louder. Oh yeah, 
I, I invite people <laughs> constantly during my first couple of weeks. And all I do is say, well, I wish this was better and this was better and this was better and this was better. <laughs> and, it, and it frustrates the, like the diehard fan that is like, this game's perfect. Like, you know, even if they agree with you, they're like, it's just, it just, it cracks me up. It's one of the, it's one of the small joys that I get out of being uh, a content consumer. Uh, especially when I like know you so well in that regards, I'm like, this is going to be really interesting. This is going to be fun for me to watch. Cause I'm going to see chat going like, what are you talking about? What well, do you even like this game? And you're like, yeah, I've invited thousands of people to it. And then he just mumbles and groans <laughs> anyway. So that. I'm from a whole family that does this. And so when my wife watches us play games, like when she watches in college, me and my brothers lived together for a few years and we had three TVs with three Xboxes in front of them. And we would all sit together and play call of duty. And it would just be nothing but groaning about this and that. And like, I can't believe this gun is in the game and this. And she'd sit there and listen to us for like 10 minutes. She's like, are you guys even having fun? And we'd all be like, yeah, why? Like, why would, why else would we be playing this? Of course we're having fun. She was, I haven't heard a positive thing out of a single one of you in 10 minutes. Yeah. You've been dropping F-bombs. You've been talking trash to each other about the game. Who's having fun? We are like we this is, this we is fun. fun. <laughs> if it wasn't fun, we'd play yeah, something else. Exactly. Uh, and the uh, chat saying an observation: Christmas, I really liked uh, Octopath Traveler. <laughs> I don't think I complained during that. No, you probably didn't. <laughs> There's very you. little to p- pick apart. Yeah, it's a, it's solid it's game. Just, solid it's game. just well done. So you just quietly go. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. This is what gaming should be. Yeah. <laughs> Not to go. out of the park. They're, 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 their naming is less yeah. than like Octopath. Eight, pa- eight path, eight path walking simulator is basically their name. And then you log in, you're like, what is it? Oh, it's eight path walking simulator. What's their next one called? Project Triangle Square. Like, I kind of feel like they're trolling us. Like, you don't need to have a good name. You don't need like it. Final Fantasy. The next Final Fantasy Origin could have just been Final Fantasy Chaos. Yeah. Like, just lean into it. Yeah. Just call it what yeah. it is. Yeah. Don't say we didn't tell you. All right. It's on the cover. <laughs> well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. And thank you. Uh, chat with sound come out. Like the get the fun going for uh, tissues. I don't know why my nose itches yeah, so yeah, much yeah. today. 22 like, minutes later. 22 minutes I keep seeing that later. quote out there. I assume that's from what I'm going to watch tomorrow. That's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. Uh, pushing us closer to 70,000. We're uh, really looking forward to hopefully we'll be able to hit that mystical 100,000 subscriber here on YouTube at some point. But to each and every one of you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the workforce. And we love you. And hopefully you have a great day. And hopefully we'll see you next time. But until then. Hopefully the construction is done. <laughs>